Chapter 91 God, Our Protector Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, can say to Him, You are my defender and protector, you are my God, and you I trust. He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. He will cover you with His wings. You will be safe in His care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. You need not fear any dangers at night or sudden attacks during the day or the plagues that strike in the dark or the evils that kill in daylight. A thousand may fall dead beside you, ten thousand all around you, but you will not be harmed. You will look and see how the wicked are punished. You have made the Lord your defender, the Most High your protector, and so no disaster will strike you. No violence will come near your home. God will put His angels in charge of you to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands to keep you from hurting your feet on the stones. You will trample down lions and snakes, fierce lions and poisonous snakes. God says, I will save those who love me and will protect those who acknowledge me as Lord. When they call to me, I will answer them. When they are in trouble, I will be with them. I will rescue them and honor them. I will reward them with long life. I will save them. Chapter 92 A Song of Praise How good it is to give thanks to you, O Lord, to sing in your honor, O Most High God, to proclaim your constant love every morning and your faithfulness every night, with the music of stringed instruments and with melody on the harp. Your mighty deeds, O Lord, make me glad. Because of what you have done, I sing for joy. How great are your actions, Lord! How deep are your thoughts! This is something a fool cannot know. Someone who is stupid cannot understand. The wicked may grow like weeds. Those who do wrong may prosper, yet they will be totally destroyed. Because you, Lord, are supreme forever. We know that your enemies will die, and all the wicked will be defeated. You have made me as strong as a wild ox. You have blessed me with happiness. I have seen the defeat of my enemies and heard the cries of the wicked. The righteous will flourish like palm trees, they will grow like the cedars of Lebanon. They are like trees planted in the house of the Lord, that flourish in the temple of our God, that still bear fruit in old age and are always green and strong. This shows that the Lord is just, that there is no wrong in my protector. Chapter 93 God the King The Lord is King. He is clothed with majesty and strength. The earth is set firmly in place and cannot be moved. Your throne, O Lord, has been firm from the beginning, and you existed before time began. The ocean depths raise their voice, O Lord, they raise their voice and roar. The Lord rules supreme in heaven, greater than the roar of the ocean, more powerful than the waves of the sea. Your laws are eternal, Lord, and your temple is holy indeed, forever and ever. Chapter 94 God the Judge of All Lord, you are a God who punishes. Reveal your anger. You are the judge of us all. Rise and give the proud what they deserve. How much longer will the wicked be glad? How much longer, Lord? How much longer will criminals be proud and boast about their crimes? They crush your people, Lord. They oppress those who belong to you. They kill widows and orphans and murder the strangers who live in our land. They say, The Lord does not see us. The God of Israel does not notice. My people, how can you be such stupid fools? When will you ever learn? God made our ears. Can't He hear? He made our eyes. Can't He see? He schools the nations. Won't He punish them? He is the teacher of us all. Hasn't He any knowledge? The Lord knows what we think. He knows how senseless our reasoning is. Lord, how happy are those you instruct, the ones to whom you teach your law. You give them rest from days of trouble, until a pit is dug to trap the wicked. The Lord will not abandon his people. He will not desert those who belong to him. Justice will again be found in the courts, and all righteous people will support it. Who stood up for me against the wicked? Who took my side against the evil doers? If the Lord had not helped me, I would have gone quickly to the land of silence. I said, I am falling, but your constant love, O Lord, held me up. 
Whenever I am anxious and worried, you comfort me and make me glad. You have nothing to do with corrupt judges who make injustice legal, who plot against good people and sentence the innocent to death. But the Lord defends me. My God protects me. He will punish them for their wickedness and destroy them for their sins. The Lord our God will destroy them. Chapter 95 A Song of Praise Come, let us praise the Lord. Let us sing for joy to God who protects us. Let us come before Him with thanksgiving and sing joyful songs of praise. For the Lord is a mighty God, a mighty King over all the gods. He rules over the whole earth, from the deepest caves to the highest hills. He rules over the sea, which He made, the land also, which He Himself formed. Come, let us bow down and worship Him. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. He is our God. We are the people He cares for, the flock for which He provides. Listen today to what He says. Don't be stubborn as your ancestors were at Meribah, as they were that day in the desert of Massa. There they put me to the test and tried me, although they had seen what I did for them. For forty years I was disgusted with those people. I said how disloyal they are. They refuse to obey my commands. I was angry and made a solemn promise. You will never enter the land where I would have given you rest. Chapter 96 God the Supreme King Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the world. Sing to the Lord and praise Him. Proclaim every day the good news that He has saved us. Proclaim His glory to the nations, His mighty deeds to all peoples. The Lord is great, and is to be highly praised. He is to be honored more than all the gods. The gods of all other nations are only idols, but the Lord created the heavens. Glory and majesty surround Him. Power and beauty fill His temple. Praise the Lord, all people on earth. Praise His glory and might. Praise the Lord's glorious name. Bring an offering and come into His temple. Bow down before the Holy One when He appears. Tremble before Him, all the earth. Say to all the nations, The Lord is King. The earth is set firmly in place and cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with justice. Be glad, earth and sky. Roar, sea, and every creature in you. Be glad, fields, and everything in you. The trees in the woods will shout for joy when the Lord comes to rule the earth. He will rule the peoples of the world with justice and fairness. Chapter 97 God the Supreme Ruler The Lord is King. Earth, be glad. Rejoice, you islands of the seas. Clouds and darkness surround Him. He rules with righteousness and justice. Fire goes in front of Him and burns up His enemies around Him. His lightning lights up the world. The earth sees it and trembles. The hills melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim His righteousness, and all the nations see His glory. Everyone who worships idols is put to shame. All the gods bow down before the Lord. The people of Zion are glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. Lord Almighty, You are ruler of all the earth. You are much greater than all the gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He protects the lives of His people. He rescues them from the power of the wicked. Light shines on the righteous, and gladness on the good. All you that are righteous be glad because of what the Lord has done. Remember what the Holy God has done, and give thanks to Him. Chapter 98 God the Ruler of the World Sing a new song to the Lord. He has done wonderful things. By His own power and holy strength He has won the victory. The Lord announced His victory. He made His saving power known to the nations. He kept His promise to the people of Israel with loyalty and constant love for them. All people everywhere have seen the victory of our God. Sing for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Praise Him with songs and shouts of joy. Sing praises to the Lord. Play music on the harps. Blow trumpets and horns and shout for joy to the Lord, our King. Roar, sea, and every creature in you. Sing, earth, and all who live on you, 
Clap your hands, you rivers, you hills, sing together with joy before the Lord, because He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the peoples of the world with justice and fairness. Chapter 99 God the Supreme King The Lord is King, and the people tremble. He sits on His throne above the winged creatures, and the earth shakes. The Lord is mighty in Zion. He is supreme over all the nations. Everyone will praise His great and majestic name. Holy is He. Mighty King, you love what is right. You have established justice in Israel. You have brought righteousness and fairness. Praise the Lord our God. Worship before His throne. Holy is He. Moses and Aaron were His priests, and Samuel was one who prayed to Him. They called to the Lord, and He answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They obeyed the laws and commands that He gave them. O Lord our God, You answered Your people. You showed them that You are a God who forgives, even though You punished them for their sins. Praise the Lord our God, and worship at His sacred hill. The Lord our God is holy. Chapter 100 A Hymn of Praise Sing to the Lord all the world. Worship the Lord with joy. Come before Him with happy songs. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us, and we belong to Him. We are His people. We are His flock. Enter the temple gates with thanksgiving. Go into its courts with praise. Give thanks to Him, and praise Him. The Lord is good. His love is eternal, and His faithfulness lasts forever. Chapter 101 a King's Promise My song is about loyalty and justice, and I sing it to you, O Lord. My conduct will be faultless. When will you come to me? I will live a pure life in my house and will never tolerate evil. I hate the actions of those who turn away from God. I will have nothing to do with them. I will not be dishonest and will have no dealings with evil. I will get rid of any one who whispers evil things about someone else. I will not tolerate anyone who is proud and arrogant. I will approve of those who are faithful to God and will let them live in my palace. Those who are completely honest will be allowed to serve me. No liar will live in my palace. No hypocrite will remain in my presence. Day after day I will destroy the wicked in our land. I will expel all who are evil from the city of the Lord. <laughs> 